Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Aquarius. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Aquarius. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy temple of yours, Aquarius, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat. We're going to see what messages, source, your guardian angels and your ancestors have here for you today. Shout out to the evolving spirits. Shout out to the soul tribe members, gang, gang. I appreciate you all, Patreon family as well. It is always an honor and a pleasure to assist you all. And welcome back to the ones that are new here, Aquarius. Definitely loves if the reading here today resonates and fulfill your spirit. We would love to have you here, part of our soul family as well. Definitely don't forget to like Make sure to adjust your notification bells for when I go live here for you all on this platform here. And definitely make sure to share the content for who you know the reading here today resonates for Aquarius, all right? So this week, we are focusing in on the color red. Yes, we're focusing in on centering and grounding ourselves with our root chakra. Also, ways to spiritually, mentally, and emotionally evolve, all right? So definitely, if you're new here, keep up with the community board. That is where I do post the new colors that we transition into each week. We do understand here that colors bring in their own frequency and vibration is a beautiful guidance for us through our spiritual journeys at this time, all right? So let's go ahead and get into your reading here, Aquarius. We're going to see what's coming towards you for love, all right? Love, love, love is in the air, Aquarius. Ooh, we have the Knight of Pentacles here, or excuse me, the King of Pentacles here, all right? Some of y'all, this person may be an Earth sign here, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here, all right, so for some of you all, there may be some particular situation or circumstance here that you are now trying to adjust when it comes to your relationship, or I feel like this person here is that you are engaged in here with. Some of y'all, this could be the father or the mother of your child here, okay? This could be a king of pentacles or a queen of pentacles. Just take it how it resonates so you can more than welcome to flip or reverse the roles here, all right? So however here, this is definitely a masculine energy here, all right, that is now taking upon a relationship or a situation where they're wanting to, however it looks like here, address, address, excuse me, a situation here. So let's get into this, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on here in your love life. Wow, we have the three of pentacles here, heavy on the earth element here. So some of you all, this person here could be, an, again, an earth sign here, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here, all right? So this is someone that wants to now collaborate with you, Aquarius. They actually want to, you know, see what is going to be the best solution here when it comes to this relationship here. So someone is literally ready to take things to the next level here with you, Sagittarius, okay? They want to see what's next for you to award you to see each other however in the future okay this person clearly is very attractive to you as well Aquarius and they definitely want to see where this person stands or you know what is the possibility and the opportunities with this particular person they want to know how you feel Aquarius about being in a relationship or taking things however to the next level here wow Aquarius yeah look at that the magician all right so this person is ready they have all their tools all right all the resources that they need here and they're ready to manifest this relationship here okay again some of y'all this person could be in aries here with the magician energy or aquarius like yourself here all right again others of you all we have earth element here so far taurus capricorn and virgo anyone can embody the energies here of the cards aquarius but however this person is just ready to you know move forward and settle down with you and they definitely want to plant seeds and invest in this relationship here we're showing the pinnacles here right off the back here but they want to know first where is your head at with this how do you feel aquarius about moving forward in a relationship here however and building with this particular person here wow aquarius oh look at that yeah, look at that the ten of cups we know the ten of cups in the traditional tarot deck talks about the ultimate happiness right being happy, having a beautiful family with the white picket fence, 
yada 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 right but this is how this person is viewing you and them together okay they're putting you in this category where they see you as someone being the mother or the father of their child or someone that they can come home to grow old with you know yada 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 things of that sort here so for some of you all again this person could be a water sign for others of you all they could be a cancer a pisces or a scorpio here okay but this person is definitely putting you in a way that you know already in their future and already in their mind manifesting with you building generations with you yes look at that we got the three of swords here now this tells me that this particular person this is why this person is so determined here because i feel like this person has been through of course previous experiences or past experience where they tried this once before with an individual from their past and unfortunately it didn't work out as planned for this particular person or it just wasn't what this person imagined here okay some of you all this person could be in an air sign like yourself here that could be in a gemini here we also have libra energy here and your energy as aquarius here okay but however here the three of swords is just representing here that someone had gotten their heart broken, okay? There could have been a situation where there was a third party situation here with this woman here standing in the background for some of you all, all right? This person may was placed in a third party or the person may have stepped out on the relationship or this could be you, Aquarius, where your person stepped out on the relationship with you, all right? And you're looking to wanna build with this particular person here in the future that you may have met here, okay? Again, you can flip it, take it how it resonates for you, okay? Yes, wow, we have the Eight of Pentacles here again, Earth Element, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Yeah, it's like you two are kind of trying to figure things out, seeing where the next move here be, because this is a couple who's sitting here. They're both staring off to space, trying to figure out, okay, where do we go from here? How do you feel now, okay? Where should we go? And clearly, you see this particular masculine energy here is offering her this rose, as in, you know, seeing you as someone here that's very elegant, beautiful, someone that I would love to move forward here with in the future, okay? So this, for me, is someone that wants to actually put in the work, right? We know the Eight of Pentacles also talks about working, establishing something, right? Working towards a goal here, okay? So again, this is your person or the energy that you are surrounding at this time this is the mindset that this particular person here is in okay wow beautiful Aquarius I love it here so far definitely again at the reading so far is resonating for you all don't forget to like share the content for who you know this reading here today as well is resonating for again making sure to have your notification bells adjusted so that way you are aware for when I go live here on the platform throughout the week so that way you can come by stop in get a check in before you get your day there started also Aquarius I am available for personal readings if you would love to book a personal reading with me as well all right all that information it was down below in the description box okay so as we close out your reading here today i want to use my raw tarot deck that i created here to get more insight on this particular person or the energies that are surrounding you at this time as well here all right so let's see here guardian angels ancestors of the highest light what do we have for my beautiful aquarians what else do they need to know about this person what do they want to say at this time all right wow we have down what do you do to me aquarius okay wow so yeah like i said this person is just like it's almost like this person feels like with you it's almost too good to be true how they feel right now they're just so overwhelmed with your beautiness your love your kindness your energy they love the fact that, you know, you're someone that they feel comfortable being around. You make this person happy here. So they even question themselves. So Aquarius like, damn, you know what I'm saying? How did this, how do Aquarius make me feel this way? Like I haven't never felt this way for some of you all. Wow, we have the nighttime here. So the nighttime may be very significant here for you too, okay? This person might want to call you or talk to you at night, or they might think about you a lot at nighttime here. Wow, we also have haters here, okay? So some of you all, there could be outside influences here regarding this relationship here or regarding your person here where they are hating on the relationship. They may be upset because this person is deciding to choose to be with you. All right, instead of the ex or someone here. 
okay yeah i'm walking away done so i feel like this person here is deciding to walk away from people or situations or circumstances from their past that they know no longer resonates with them because they see a potential here with you and i feel like you even give this person hope because this person with the three of swords here they may have given up on love in the past right oh yeah look at that you are the one aquarius oh that's so sweet okay so this is what they are now coming to the terms with i feel like again and this is why there are haters here that are outside of the relationship looking in and you know they're upset because i feel like your person didn't choose them okay i'm just keeping it a bug right mm -hmm. oh we have the divine feminine okay so some of you all, I could be speaking to the divine feminine energy here, or I could be speaking to the divine masculine energy here. And this is how your divine feminine feels, okay? Or vice versa. Again, you can flip it. That could be the divine masculine. And I could be speaking to the divine feminine. This is how your divine masculine energy feels about you, okay? Wow, we have someone is sneaking around. So yeah, this could definitely be pertaining to the haters over here. There could be an ex here of yours, Aquarius, or an ex of your person here that is sneaking around that may be trying to get information about you and this person here. Wow, we have, I want you so bad, okay? So this particular person wants you really bad, okay? I felt that, okay? I already felt that, wow. And then we have third party here, okay? So, wow, some of you all, I mean, that's coming from the Three of Swords energy here, as I mentioned. Like, some of you all, your ex here might place you in a third-party situation here. Or your person here, again, as I mentioned, was in a third-party situation from their past, okay? It's why they're so determined now to work towards this relationship because they want better than what they experienced in their past. Or vice versa, some of you all, this person of yours, this ex of yours, it was in the energy of where they're wanting to, you know, reestablish this relationship with you. I'm getting a lot of messages here, Aquarius. So again, just take it where it resonates, love, and what doesn't resonate, please leave it here on the table, all right? Let's get one more card here, Gordon Angels. Thank you. Wow. And then we have the Divine Masculine come out here as well, all. So this is definitely referencing to a... Um, a counterpart okay where is she where is the feminine energy the divine feminine there she is all right yeah look at that i love it i love it so some of y'all again there could have been a ex or a third party situation here that took place okay yeah because i have the mother here okay so some of y'all this may be referencing to the mother or the father of your child here okay others of you all this could be your person's mother or father of their child okay so again take it where it resonates but wow very interesting details and information regarding the relationship here for whoever again this has resonated here for today again definitely don't forget to like share the content with your partner or who you know this message here may resonate here for again i am available for personal readings aquarius all that information loves it was down below in the description box also loves if you would love to extend your stay here and join our patreon soul family we would love to have you there i do go live aquarius there for the patreon family on camera so you can have a more one-on-one -on -one experience with me i do show my face there and i do provide free questions each and every time i go live for the patreon family and you also get one-on-one -on -one monthly check-ins with me where we pull oracle messages for you we make sure that you're on your spiritual path and journey and what messages your guardian angels and ancestors particularly have for you also, all the content, all the readings that I do post here on YouTube, you also receive those first as a Patreon soul family, all right? Thank you all again, Aquarius, for your love, your support, your feedback. I hear you in those comments. I know I can't get to everyone's comments, but I always want to take out this time to say thank you, thank you, thank you, Aquarius. I love you. Bye-bye.